Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.47.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this set visible and set hidden to the eloquent collection, not to the normal collection, but to the eloquent collection. So let me show you here an example in the Tinkerwell app. So here, suppose let's say you got this collection from somewhere. Okay. So you got a list of users over here like this. Sorry, let me just add a semicolon over here and you got it like this. So just to show it in a clear way, let me show or just return this to array from here and you can see the data over here. But let's say you only want ID and name over here. Of course, you can write here select like this. But as I have said earlier, suppose let's say you got this data from somewhere else. So here after getting the collection, you can just do here set visible. And you can pass here let's say you only want id and name then you can pass this id and name over here like this and just run it then you will get only id and name and every other fields will be excluded but let's say you don't want id and name but the other fields then you can do here instead of set visible you can do set hidden like this and run it then you can see here you will get everything except id and name and if you look here in this collection if we just do it here in the normal collection then it will not work so i'll return it from here and call here set visible name and email and run it you can see here set visible does not exist which means that it will only work on this one if i just show you over here up to this get and you can see here this is the eloquent collection but this collection is a simple illuminate collection now let us move to the second thing that has been added which are very, very simple things so the second thing is this add decimal to the list of numerical rules if i just show you over here in the files change then it is added over here like this and if you just see here because of that we can now call size this mean and this max validation rule along with this decimal and it will call all this max mean and size actually on the numeric value now the third thing which has been actually fixed which is a very simple thing is that every time whenever we call the set attribute on a model and set a key or a property with some value then it will actually return a model but if we have this set attribute marked mutation then it would actually return null but from now it will also return model 